Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java lambda expressions with the help of examples so guys the lambda expression is an anonymous or unnamed method so basically a method without any name is called a lambda expression so over here we have the syntax as you can see similar to a method after the method name we can have the parameter list inside the open and close brackets but instead of having the curly braces over here we have something called as lambda operator or the arrow operator so as you can see it is first hyphen followed by greater than symbol over here and this is called the arrow or lambda operator and then we have the lambda body in this lambda body either we can have a single expression or we can have the block of code over here so when we are having a single expression the result of that expression will be returned over here or else if we have the block of code the return statement should be present inside the block of code now let's see the working of the lambda expression a lambda expression is not executed on its own rather it forms the implementation of the abstract method defined by the functional interface so guys we will check this with the help of examples like how the lambda expression can be used so let us check this examples the first example is single expression to print data so let me move to eclipse id so first of all we need to define an interface that is having an abstract method so outside this class that is java test class i will have an interface so we have interface over here i'll say my interface so as you can see this is my interface and inside this my interface let's say i want to provide an abstract method that is going to return the pi value so i will say get pi value over here and then open and close brackets and since pi value is a double data type what i will do is i will provide the double data type before the method name which is going to be the return type so guys in this way we have just defined an abstract method over here which is not being defined over here but it will be implemented by the lambda expression so how do we use that lambda expression over here first of all we need to declare an instance of the my interface so i'll just copy this and paste this over here and let's say i provide the object name as reference over here followed by semicolon now guys normally when we define the interface it is being implemented by other classes and over there we need to define the get pi value method but over here in the lambda expression what we will do is i will provide this reference object name over here followed by equal to and then we will have this lambda expression as you can see we have the open and close brackets and we are not taking any parameter over here followed by the lambda operator that is hyphen and then greater than sign and then we have the value of pi as 3.14 followed by semicolon so as you can see this is the lambda expression that is open and close brackets which is having the parameter list over here there are no parameters that we are passing followed by the lambda operator and then the expression that we have so this particular thing is being assigned to this reference object now how do we get the value of pi by using this get pi value we simply have to use this object that is reference so what i will do is i will have the print statement over here so i'll say pi value is followed by colon and then i will have reference as the object name over here followed by dot and as you can see this get pi value the method that we had defined over here is being suggested by the eclipse id so this is the get pi value that will help us in order to get this value that is 3.14 so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see pi value is 3.14 so guys in this way without actually implementing or without having the body of this method in some other class we can use the lambda expression over here and we can have any expressions over here in order to assign that expression to this method so whenever this method will be called whatever expression that we had used in our lambda expression the result will be returned using this reference object let me just change this value so let's say pi value i want to change it to 3.20 so let me just save this file and try running this code instead of 3.14 it should come as 3.20 over here so as you can see 3.2 is coming so guys basically the correct value of the pi is 3.14 and i should not deviate from that so i'll just keep the value as 3.14 over here so in this way you can easily create an interface and inside the interface you can have that abstract method and in order to return some value by using that abstract method you can use the lambda expressions over here guys it is very important to note that whenever you are defining this interface you should have only one abstract method inside that interface in order to implement this lambda 
expression over here. The next example is lambda expression with functional interface to add two numbers. So what I will do is over here only I will make certain changes in order to explain you how you can add two numbers by taking the parameters over here in the lambda expression and adding those numbers. So what I will do is I will provide a followed by comma and then we have b. So over here two parameters are being passed and both of these parameters are numbers over here and I want to return the addition of these two numbers that is a sum of these two numbers. So I'll say a plus b over here. So we are getting a red underline over here. It says lambda expression signature does not match the signature of the functional interface method get by value. So guys over here what I will do is I will say integer over here instead of double since the sum of both the numbers will be integer and what I will do is I will change the method name to add numbers over here but guys these add numbers it is going to expect the two numbers so I will say int a followed by comma and then int b so guys these are the two parameters that will be expected by this add numbers method so over here while using the reference what i will do is after this we will have dot followed by add numbers since we have changed the method name and after that we will have two numbers over here which will be added based on this lambda expression so i'll say 10 and then the other number is 20 over here so guys we have these two numbers that is 10 and 20 that is being passed that is in a and b and using this lambda expression over here as you can see 10 and 20 will be passed over here and the sum of both the numbers will be returned back to the reference and it will be printed over here so i'll say sum is so i'll remove this value so i'll say sum is over here and then followed by reference dot add numbers and i have provided two numbers in the parameter list so let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see sum is 30 so guys you can provide any numbers over here let's say i provide 15 over here as one number and let's say i provide 21 as the other number so 21 plus 15 it is 36 let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see sum is 36 and in this way you can easily use the lambda expressions you can have no parameters at all or multiple parameters or a single parameter as well and you can have single expression over here or the block of code as well with the return statement so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different output please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java file class to create and delete files in a directory so stay tuned